Yeah, so in this position, after a long maneuvering struggle, this is already move 52 or something like that, Magnus played what looked to me like an innocent little move. He played king back to g1. And I thought, okay, maybe he wants to make sure there's no queen h8, queen h2 check. He wants to cover these squares. And Vichy played a very natural move. He played knight back to c7. Was too dangerous to take this pawn because then the queen can invade to d7. So he played knight to c7, trying to defend against this active white knight. And here we see, in my opinion at least, because I did not see this coming at all, the star move of the game by Magnus Carlsen, showing his idea with king g1 was ju not just defensive, but he plays a fantastic little move. He plays a move bishop to f2. And the idea is he's spotted. He can't break through by normal means. There's one weakness in the black camp, which he has to attack. That's the pawn on e5. And with king g1, he wants to go bishop f2, and then bishop g3, and then take this pawn. And he's willing to sacrifice one of his pawns to achieve that goal. And it turns out this plan is very, very effective. So I thought Magnus now has finally found a way to wear Vichy down, and he will bring home the bacon. But there were further adventures. Vichy keeps being tough. He played knight to b7, bishop to g3. Bishop takes b5, c takes b5, and queen to d6, desperately trying to at least defend this pawn for now. And here Magnus, surprisingly, stumbled, maybe after these three six and a half hour games in a row, even his forces were wearing down a little bit. But in this position, he had one way to most likely win, which Vichy pointed out, the very subtle move, king to g2. The idea is that after the exchange on d6, you can then bring your king to f3 and defend the e pawn pawn. If you were to take immediately, queen takes, knight takes, bishop takes e5, knight takes e4 is not so clear. But preparing it with king g2, so you have king f3, seemed like it would decide the game. The computer also points out that you can just play the move c4, defending your pawn on b5, and black is also very, very helpless. But Magnus doesn't do any of these things. Instead, he plays the move queen to e2, Natural move, preparing to go queen c4, but that gives Vichy one chance to organize counterplay, which he immediately takes. Now he can put his knight on e6, which wasn't possible with the queen still on d1, because it would always be met by takes, takes, and take the pawn. But now after knight e6, all of a sudden, black is very much in business. This knight can jump here, can take the pawn, and Magnus is not even better anymore, so he had to settle for a draw here, I think. After a few more moves, I'm not sure if this was the exact move order, but something like this, the game expired in a draw, peaceful outcome. Magnus won't be happy about this one, but he still has two and a half out of three and shares the lead with Peter Swidler.